Hello ladies, gentlemen and friends, welcome back to Let's Play Ultima 8 Pagan, welcome to episode 23, and uh, well, we're still here in this underground cavern, we have to get past this river of lava, lake of lava, okay, to reach the sorcerer um, village, and um, so yeah, I'll cut this very briefly, okay, um, let's drop a quick save, um, trial, through trial and error, off screen I found out the way to proceed, and, uh, it, it's trial and error, okay, so as I figured from the beginning, airwalk takes um, the front and center, it's vital to get uh, to get this part done, and that was the reward for completing the Stratos quest line, the Theurgy's quest line. Okay, so you cannot get to the sorcerer town village enclave enclave without first completing the the Stratos uh, quest. Um, so we need that, and what these spells. What this spell does is simply makes you jump very far. Okay, it's not really air walk, it just makes you jump very far. So, after casting it, I had to try uh, and see the correct place where to jump to. Okay, which apparently is like so. Perfect. And now, okay, you don't have to climb this hill over here. No, no, sir. You have to jump here. Okay. And then you have to cross this river. Okay. And you have to find a spot. Probably. No, that was just some bubbles from the, the lurker or fish or something. Okay. This way. Okay, here. Okay. And here, look at that easy okay but i've been here sitting in front of the screen for about 40 minutes now to, to get this figure out okay so nice and easy we did it very quickly Enjoy if you know if you know what to do okay it's a breeze okay here we are Yes, Avatar, seek our way home. Seek our way home. Okay, so there's probably going to be exactly this. Okay, also because I remember I still have Brother Xavier's healing touch focus, should probably return it. Now we can travel through places at our leisure, which is very convenient. And these mimics Argentrock. Isle, okay. However, it's quite the opposite. Theurgies are maybe not extremely polite, but well meaning human beings. Bar sorcerers, on the other hand, are jerks. From the, 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 I think the, the, the nicest one is Baron, and you remember last time we met him, he mocked us and told us that we were uh, coming here at our own peril because we were under his rule and the, the haze lifted which is nice so there are okay we probably have to find Baron first to know what's at least it probably is going to be acolyte Gorgrond no uh, the only one that doesn't kill us on sight Acolyte Baron. So Acolytes are uh, full-fledged mages. Oh, there it is. Okay, be careful. Okay. Greetings once again, Rico. And what can I do for you? <laughs> uh, tell me of this place. Of course. This is a Sorcerer's Zen Club. It sits on Demon's Crag. On the Isle of Morgalin. Nice. 
Okay. What is a sorcerer? A sor sorcerer is practitioner of the magic of sorcery. I am an acolyte sorceress of the Cabal. The Cabal, what is that? It is all sorcerers combined. What is sorcery? Sorcery is the art and craft of fire. The element that I have come here to study. Pyros, the Lord of Flame, is a powerful force in this world. And I will partake of that power. I see you, they are power hungry, power mongering, hungering demons in human disguise. Element of fire, what is it? Are you daft? It is flame itself. It runs through the land as blood does in your veins. I told you, and he is the nicest one. Tell me of this Lord of Flame. Pyros was the last titan to be brought to terms. He was bound by my kind long ago and is now at the back and uh, at the back and call of Master Malkir, a dangerous servant, to be sure, but a servant nonetheless. So what is a Titan? A Titan is the personification of one of the four elements. They are earth, water, air, and of course fire. I know little of the others, and fire I study. If there is not else you will discuss, I would return to my studies. Is there anything you would speak on further? Tell me of this place again. Um, tell me of Demos Craig and Morgellane. Very well, Demos Craig is a lava-filled ravine that flows from Mount Morgellane. This volcano is what the island takes its name from. Morgellane. There is a tale that tells of the farming of the volcano. Farming? Forming of the volcano. Will you hear it? Yes. I'm starving for knowledge. Long ago it is written, before pagans warred with Zealands, a voice came to our people. He named himself the Guardian and spoke of a time when a great destroyer will come bringing despair to all. I know this story. The Guardian showed our ancestors how to make our elements into titanic forces that would defeat this destroyer. They sacrificed and gave adoration to the elements at the temple built at the top of this mountain. Ah! A great black obelisk was built there. Oh, this is interesting. And the elements grew in power. Long last, the day came. The day of the destroyer. The guardian warned our people that they must leave the temple. That that the battle between the destroyer and the titans would take place there. Nobody saw it. So they fled into the forest around. Huge glowing yellow eyes appeared in the sky above the mountain then. Surrounding them a face of red. Man-like in form, his body came into being. But red as his face it was, you've never seen the guardian, have you? He stood upon the mountain and roared out his challenge to our world. He was met by the shaking of the earth, the lashing of the air, the rising of the water, and the burning of fire. But the sky once again cleared somewhat. Most of my people were dead. The sea had taken some, fire others, the land swallowed yet more. But we survived, only by the grace of the guardian. You fool! You fool! <laughs> Your ancestors were deceived. Ah, uh, yes, uh, I cannot resist. What? What do you mean? Nothing, never mind. The Guardian is the destroyer. You know not of what you speak. I will hear no more about it. Wait, you must hear me out. 
I said I would hear no more on the subject. Is there anything else you won't ask me? Uh, well, after all, you're right. Avatar, they deserve to stay here and rot in the hell they created. What can you say of the enclave? Not a green portrait. It is where we live. If there is no else you will discuss, I'll return to my studies. Uh, uh, we already asked him about himself. I don't think it changes. Uh, yes. Okay. I could ask. I could well ask you that question, but I shall speak first. I am a sorcerer, acolyte of the Cabal. What do you do? I seek to leave this place. Do you? Why? Does our land of people displease you so? Your people are cruel. This land is often giving. Both are contrary. <laughs> no, I would return to my land and people. An honorable goal. Perhaps we sorcerers can be of assistance. Oh yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How so? Seek out Bane. She will be able to help you. She is the most intellectual of us all. Okay, we got uh, a hint. Okay, we have to seek out Bane, a female sorcerer. Yes, yes, laugh as much as you like about Rico and his waifus. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, I won't touch a thing because... Um, Sorcerers are dangerous, and if they see you tampering with their um, items and possessions, they... Uh... So, Bane, okay. Let's play the game. Uh, let's go along with this. Let's look for Bane and talk to her. I'll never make it through the trials. There are trials here as well? Who are you? Is a mage. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's, in this, uh, it's incredible. The sprite is the same as a theurgist, I believe. But that... This is blocked. This dark red make them so... Menacing. Okay, so... This is Gorgrond. I call it Gorgon. Okay. That's Baron. Okay, let's let's have a look at this very large. Acolyte Bane. Knock knock, don't kill me. Uh, I come in peace. I'm a foreigner from a distant land. Nice fire. Okay. There she is. Oh, red haired. Oh, I wasn't ready for this. Was I? Okay. Hello. Hello. Ah, a stranger comes to the club. How rare. You are also a stranger to the island of Morgaylin, are you not? Yes. So I thought. And what might you be called, my friend? Oh, I'm already your friend. <laughs> you are not my friend, lady. She's a lady. I'm Mariko. What an interesting name. I shall be sure to make note of it. However, you have need of a name that has meaning in the other tongue. I sense that your name should be Damion. It means fire of the sky. Do you like it? Yes, I love it. Almost sounds like Desmond, which is one of my battle names. It gladdens me to hear it. Perhaps later, when you have earned it, you will be given a true name. Damien seems right and will suffice for now. With what may I assist you? Okay. Uh, what is a true name? I see by your question that you are unlearning the ways of sorcery and sorcerers for that matter. 
A true name is the name given a sorcerer when she begins her training. The names you chose later or were given before have no power. I'm called Bane, although that's not my true name. Power, power over what? Why, over the fire, of course. The true name of the sorcerer is melded to the spell to give it meaning. The true name of the daemon that binds it to the sorcerer's will. Even the most powerful daemon, the Lord of Flame himself, may be commanded so if one um, if one else I has the tongue of fire. Ah also has the tongue I was I have the curse. If one also has the tongue of fire. What is the tongue of fire? I know very little about it, save that it is the focus of the sorcerer's ability to control the Lord of Flame. Mm. Okay, it's, uh, sounds like one of the pieces of the obelisk then. Uh, what exactly is Daemon? Daemon is the essence of a man or woman who has been vanquished by flame. It is almost mindless and filled with a destructive rage that consumes all it sees. What do you mean by fire? Fire is the most powerful and destructive of the elements, as the Lord of Flame is the most potent, potent of the Titans. Uh, what do you know of the Titans? I know that names and titles by which the people adores them, address them. And the elements they have reigned over, other than this I cannot or oh, will not tell you, at least not yet. Mm, tell me of the elements. I've never met an outlander before, but you must be from far away to not know of the elements. Far away indeed, nonetheless. Be welcome, for I will tell, you, tell of them if you wish it. Do you? Oh yes, this is going to be... This episode is going to be like this. Okay, so if you don't like, you don't like the sound of my voice, I'm sorry. <laughs> the first is Earth. Big is a slow element. Its power is over death and the land. It mixes well with fire. I mislike the feel of it personally. Water is next. It is, of course, unloved by those who follow the sorcerer's path. But I cannot in good faith call it a weak element. For it's... Bailiwick, Bailiwick, extends throughout the deep seas and the, and the air um, is a fond court of it in the storms. The air follows water and fire, uh, the, the air follows, okay. Water and fire use it as they will, while earth uh, all but ignores it. Do not take it lightly, however, for life is its power and none can exist without it. Fire is last, but also the greatest. As a sorcerer, I know well the caress of the flame. Its power is in the undoing of all that exists, but it also has the ability to create. Does not a blacksmith use it to forge a better steel? Does not a baker use it to make the bread that fits him? Oh, go wow. Okay. My eyes need a little bit to adjust. Okay, but I can read better. What is a titan? I... what? Do you mean to tell me you know not what the titans are? Yes, uh, I, but I want to hear it again. Okay. Well, that's simple enough. They are only the most powerful beings in all of Pagan. But they are not bound by or in contract with the people as in times before, that will be gods to us. Tell me about this Lord of Flame. The Lord of Flame is none other than the Titan of the Element of Fire. He was bound to the will of the sorcerers long ago and remains bound to this very day. It is by his chain might that we control our sorcery. And what is sorcery then? Sorcery is the art of manipulating fire. It is not an easy path to take, as you can see by the scars that mark those mo those of my sorcerer's count. Oh, I want to see your scars. However, it does have its rewards. Is there anything else that you would wish to discuss? T 
tell me of the other tongue. That is my speciality, for I am the avid student of the language, and all languages for that matter. The other tongue allows a sorcerer such as myself to unleash or bind fire. All acolytes must learn it to create the enchanted tools of our trade. Oh! Enchanted tools? Wands, rods, staves, and other unperishable metal paraphernalia are the trappings, trappings of a sorcerer, like foci, I imagine? I don't recall. What is an acolyte? I, for one, am an acolyte sorcerer. Acolytes are the group of sorcerers that the master calls upon to aid him in the performance of his sorcery. Amelio Master. Malkir is a wily one, but his self interest is counter to my own outgoing nature. Ah, you are going, I noticed. Well, you know, he should become more concerned with the other sorcerer instead of always hiding himself away. Nonetheless, he makes a fine and powerful master otherwise. Other acolytes' malicious comments are unwarranted, and you should take no heed to either of them. She supports the current master, then. Malicious comments. He will only perpetuate his comments to give them voice. Therefore, I shall refrain. Should I cast here truth? Tell me about sorcerers. If you wish, I know this. The real power of the true name will only be given to one initiated in our ways. Would you know about the current sorcerers? Or perhaps some of those that went before? Current. The living sorcerers of the Cabal are divided into two groups. The body and the will. The body is made up of all the acolytes and the will is that of the master. Who are the acolytes? The acolytes are poorly led by the first acolyte, who is more beast than man. His name is Vardion, and you will do well to avoid him, as his odor can be most offensive. I, of course, am also one of the acolytes. Then there is Gorgrond, sometimes a bit slow of wit and easily led astray by those that he thinks are of greater importance. Lastly, there is Baron, a man who be trust, meant to be trusted. He is as good as his word, and his word is beyond reproach. You should do, of course, a course that to take his advice in all things. Okay, what does he tell me of Baron? Not but good. His mind is quick, his body a finely crafted work, his magical skill and power are only slightly beneath my own. Wow, modest. Taken all together, quite a remarkable fellow. I would trust him with my life. Where are you? Tell me of Gorgrond. He is as simple minded as he is magically powerful. In a raw and unskilled fashion, he is the perfect tool, which is why I believe he was made an acolyte. Certainly, he is useful to those in a position to manipulate him. Tell me more of Vardium. Not to put too fine a point on it, he is a brutish, overbearing, pompous load. In other words, I find his presence intolerable, and if Master Marquis were not so engrossed in his own affairs, I feel sure that he, he would allow me to issue the call in to Vardium, even if he is the first acolyte. The calling? The calling is a challenge from one sorcerer to another, and invariably ends in the death of one of the participants. No other form of arbitration is allowed save as the master deems fitting. It is the way by which we keep peace among ourselves. <laughs> the rules of issuing a call are as follows. No sorcerer may call upon another without the permission of the master, except when the master calls or is called. Only an acolyte may call upon the master. So challenge a, ma the ma a master. A sorcerer who breaks these simple rules can uh, usually number his remaining days upon one hand. First acolyte, what do you mean? 
The first accolade is chosen to be the master second in command and tends to the daily affairs of running and club. The master needs someone who understands people, someone with a vision for the future, someone like yourself. Vardion is not this someone. For the for, far to the contrary, he lingers in the past, observing outdated traditions for tradition's sake, but I digress. Perhaps you, perhaps you grow bored with this line of conversation? Not bored, just disinterested. Yes, I'm sorry, I have. Can we change the subject? No, please go on. I want to know every bit about these internal affairs. I will entrust to you further knowledge of our predicament. I have reason to believe that Vardy is preparing to assassinate the master. He thinks that Malkir breaks with too many of the old traditions, but fears his power. Should he kill Malkir and become master, he will return the enclave to the days when sorcerers were shunned by the rest of the island's populace. Wow. Okay, Baron leaves in Tenebrae, but... To get to the point at hand, I must ask a favor of you. I need someone to enter into the confidences of the first acolyte and acquire from his, from his true name. This will aid me in performing a scrying to know Vardion's motives. Will you do this? Oh, should, I should have... I should have cast uh, Hear Truth. Because I know that that's not the reason why she wants the true name. If so, I can offer you a position as a disciple, or even acolyte, should Vardian intentions be murderous. Mm. I will not be your spy lady. I do not trust your motives. Okay. Let me think on it. I apologize for placing this pressure on you, but it is of dark consequences. I will wait your answer. Okay, I really need to quick save. Enjoying your stay on Pagan? Yes, I'm enjoying it, Guardian. Oh, should I call you Destroyer? Hear truth, hear truth, hear truth. Okay, hello. Do what do I owe the pleasure of your presence, Damion? Have you decided to become my disciple? Well, as I said, I do not trust your motives. It is not my motives that should be in question. You are the stranger here. If I wished it, I could have you thrown out. No. Okay, I don't think it works. Um... Unless you come to apologize, apologize. I did not mean to give offense. Well, you did, but you are a foreigner. Let us not dwell on your past mistakes now then. What do you seek of me? What else can you offer? I have made a far greater offer than you apparently are capable of understanding. To become a source is to become one with power. That, that as you will, as you take leave of these premises. Okay, let's let's reload. I don't want her angry. Yeah, I I enjoying your I fragmented memories of this story or this quest. Uh, I I can hundred percent say she she does not want to just scry on her, but she's. Decent, but let's hear the other bell, as we used to say. We're looking for Vardium. Probably Vardium lives nearby. Okay. Oh, it was actually the very first, the very first um, building. Uh, I think Vardium is around here. Oh, this is a big first Vakalat Vardium. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> okay, no shirt. Why is he walking like that? Okay, don't mind me as I cast here truth. Hello. 
Hello. Who are you? Um, I'm Mariko. I don't care what your name is. I want to know who you are, that you feel free to enter into the Sorcerer's Enclave without my permission. Um, I merely seek knowledge. We don't give it away yet, Enclave. It is earned. Tell me why you are here. Um, uh, what do you want me? What do you want from me? What I want is an intelligent response, intruder. Uh, why do I need your permission? Because I run this place for all intents and purposes. I'm a great hero. Maybe where you come from, but here nothing unless I say you're something. Ah, I s no, really, I am a great hero. <laughs> this from one who is nothing. Uh, this is not going well. No, really, I am a great hero. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sure you are, child. Now then, I'm a beastman. What do you want of me? Um, who are you? I am Vardium, first accolade of Sorcerer's and Club. Keep this in mind and we'll have no strife. First acolyte, what is that? It is a position of respect amongst my kind. I handle the first of the enclave and our dealings with Tenebrae. This gives the master more time to commit to his research and spellcraft. You have dealings with Tenebrae, really? Of course, Dollard. We'll think we have the time to grow our own food, make our own clothing, <coughs> craft our own buildings. We give Tenebrae the sure knowledge that the Lord of Flame will remain bound and that the volcano will remain dormant. In return, they free us from the necessity of handling our more basic needs. Wow! <laughs> what are you, the mob? It's a racket. You extort from the Tenebrians. <laughs> Shrewd bargaining from both sides. Who is the Lord of Flame? Well, you extort from the Tenebrians. No. Oh, it expired. Okay. Let's go easy. I cannot buy your ill manners. Or oh, is it perhaps slow wit? Oh my goodness. I was about to respond. What? Tell me about this place. How can it be that you do not know of the Sorcerer and Sign Club? I know, I'm just asking. <laughs> I'm a stranger here. You are a stranger indeed, but regardless, I will tell you because you need to be aware of the danger you are in while here. This is the Alpha Sorcerer's Sign Club. As first accolade, it is my duty to make sure that the sorcerers learn about the fire and keep the old ways alive. Old ways? The old ways are the rituals and ceremonies that we use to bind the Lord of Flame to our wheels. What rituals and ceremonies? These rituals are shown to sorcerers only. I will not reveal them to another soldier. To do so is punishable by death. Tell me about sorcerers. Sorcerers are practitioners of the element of fire. We are not to be traveled with. Yeah, I know. I know Baron. But still treats me like a child. <laughs> Tell me of the fire. Fire is all consuming. It lives within the mountain and burns within your own body. It is the element I give my life to study. It's odd. It's pretty much the same reply I got from Bane. What is an element? What do you mean what is an element? Where do you come from where it could possibly be so ignorant? You don't want to know. <laughs> I come from another world. Why the guardian found the world traveler? My grandmother always said that there were other worlds out there. It's a shame she couldn't be here to see proof. Um. 
What happened to her? She just vanished one day. No one knows where she is. Her name was Mordra. She was a powerful mage. Maybe she found a way to leave this world. Perhaps she went to yours, Heiko. Perhaps. What is the world called, my friend? Oh, Earth of Britannia. What is my world, actually? What do I consider home? Earth. Oh, curious. Your world is named after one of the elements. This Earth must be a dark place indeed, filled with death. I believe you asked me, of all things, what an element is. It is warming up, and no pun intended. The elements number four, earth, water, air, and fire, and each has a power intrinsic to it. Um, I wish to know about air. What is there to know? Air is at the back and call of both Pyros and despised Hydros and all but ignored by Lithos. Stratos is as weak as the those who follow her. Let's cut the chase. Who is Pyros? Pyros is the name of the Lord of Flame, Titan of Fire. Who is the Lord of Flame? The Lord of Flame is the father of the demons. He is the charnel pit from which all fire comes. Father of demons? Yes, all demons owe allegiance to Paros, for they are born when the life is ended in flames. Hydros? That accursed name belongs to the Lurker. Uh, Lithos? He is called the Mother King and is the Titan of Earth. Stratos? I think you already told. Stratos? Titan were followed in order by the Order of Enlightenment, a group of misguided mages called Theurgists, led by a blind old man. Order of Enlightenment? They style themselves a religious order following their mystic voice. Mystic voice? Tell me this blind old man. Stalos is his name, and some say he's lived forever. I must give credit to this rumor, for he was an old man when I was a boy, and he has changed a bit as I've become a man. Mystic voice? It is the, Ala, the alias of Stratos. Theurgist? They practice healing arts and decide that their leader can even bring the dead back to life. All in all, they are a coven of weak fools afraid to die for a cause. Are you finished? Yes. It's late. Farewell, Earthling. <laughs> If I, probably if I if I said I was from Britannia, I could be, call me Britannian, British, Breton. Okay, I think I'm going to stop here. Um, this is going to be the end. So uh, I met both. Um, well, Guardian, the first acolyte, and Bane, who wants to be first acolyte, and. Uh, um Bane seems fine, but um can we trust them? Vardion is very bad mannered, but at least he seems honest. Okay. And we have Baron who's supporting Bane and Gordon, who we haven't met yet, who's su apparently supporting Vardion. So we have a little bit of um a clash here. And uh, we'll be asked to take, to make a stand, to pick a side. And Bane actually already asked us to spy on Vardion. We'll do so next time, though. We'll end this episode here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time. Until then, take care and goodbye.